Hello everybody and welcome back to Darksiders. I am your host Banfor and we are starting today. We are heading back over to see Samuel. And look at all these new enemies that come about here. Let's just try and kill them all. We do a ton more damage whilst we're on our horse. It's worth remembering that. And of course we can't fall off the edge either, so that's good to know. Now you may notice that the bat's now fiery as well, so... Gotta be careful with what we're doing here. Okay, let's head on into here and see Samael. One more, just one more, and then more. You get your tower. Silitha's web-infested lair is far across the great chasm in the Ashlands. Ruin has yet to regain much of his strength, but he will make the distance. As for Silitha, just get there, and she'll find you, the Broodmother is a collector of sorts. Most who enter her realm, she feeds to her young, the one she takes an interest in. <laughs> ah, those are the unlucky ones. Those she keeps alive, and they can live a long time. Long enough to tell her thing. You could say she collects stories, information. What stories will she tell me about you, Samael? Careful, or your ending will be a tragic one. Sometimes the hero dies in the end. But Horseman, I like stories that have a happy ending. Now bring me the final heart. yourself, Samael. Right, so we've now been given something called Soul Bridge. What does this do? Walk now access once dormant soul bridges. Change ruin, or oh, sorry, charge ruin through their pillars to activate them. Well, okay. <coughs> Let's go and find ourselves a soul pillar then. Entirely sure of which direction we should be heading here, so let's try this way. And I believe it's probably over here. Yeah, go on then. Let's be having you. Go. And we now have three, six, six health containers, which is really nice. Let's just check on the map where it is we're going here. It's over there. On the world map, it's over. Wow, that's quite a way away. And. Uh, to be honest, I think we're probably better off using the, uh, the wormholes to get there, probably. Aren't we? Yeah, I think so. Let's use the wormhole. And go to the Ashlands. I think you might remember from the previous episode was where we were trying to get a few more of the Abyssal Armor Set pieces. Can't quite recall how many we've found so far. But I know we've found quite a few. Right. 
greetings. Okay. That's nice, thanks. Here are the Ashlands. We're heading left by the looks of things. There shouldn't be any more worms in here. So let's see if we can find one of these uh, portal things that he was mentioning. Which way should we be heading? It suggests it's this way. I don't know whether we should be up on that or not. Certainly don't want to fall off a ledge here. Aha! I see. Okay. Yeah, I do remember seeing these things. So that's the gateway, is it? Okay. So I need to come back here and hop off onto a ledge somewhere. Uh, where's the best? It must be this one, is it? I guess. Oh, we can mount here as well then. Oh wow, and he does jump as well, nice, okay. Didn't know that. Right, okay, so we have to charge between these two gates, do we? Charge ruin through the pillars to activate them. Okay, here we go. Nice. That was kind of cool. I like that. That's awesome. Let me just check that I'm not missing anything here. This looks pretty desolate though, doesn't it really? Fiery horse. And so our next boss then is Silitha, which I believe he said was almost like a spider, <clears throat> but certainly web uh, involved in the cutscene, so I can only assume it's a spider. Never been one to like spiders particularly, it's not to say this won't be awesome. escape and as you can see we've actually been taken to the dungeon which is uh, nice of the spiders thank you very much there's quite a few chests over there that I want to be getting but we need to be able to access these things up here and I don't have the necessary tool just yet Let's take a little look around. What are we dealing with here? Some experience just around the back. Zap up all of those. There we go. Yum yum. <coughs> and there's another of these things here. And you can, I think, almost like join your swings between them. You'll understand what I mean in just a moment once we unlock the item itself. Let's try and work out where we need to go here. Is this thing here? There we go. And there's a doorway there that we can open. I guess that's the only way we can go. So let's head on in. Doesn't hey, look like whoa, you can whoa, do whoa, anything whoa, whoa, against whoa. tall, dark, and gruesome yet. Best to avoid it for now. Now these things are highly resilient. They take a lot to kill for some reason, these little spiders. I think there's an infinite amount of them as well. That's vaguely what I remember. And they keep coming from this thing up here. You see that? 
spider. I can't go underneath it because it will eat me. Eat me! Yes, exactly. It will eat me. So what I need to be doing is pulling this back here in order to be making way up. So as you can see, there's this cable. Now before I do that, however, I need to set off the chronosphere. Like that. Jump up and run across to avoid the spider. And then jump down. And that spider would have eaten me. Okay. See, look, it's trying to eat me now, but of course I'm not on there, so luckily I managed to get past that okay. I'll get through there. Let's jump down. And what are we dealing with in here then? Something up there. Oh. I was there, I'm not anymore. Women angels. So we're dealing with angels now as well. Lovely. Just when you thought they'd uh, disappeared for a while, they're back again. Let's get across this bridge. Let me guess that's going to collapse, is it? Yes. Okay. Well, we're not getting back that way. Or at least we might be once we've discovered something. Some items, perhaps. Right. There appears to be something around here. What is it? It's the Beholder Doorway. There's not much point us going this way just yet. Let's head back around. And down this way. There he is. What? Found a rage crate, so let's pick that up now. Off with your wings. How many more have you got alive? Oh, okay. Off with your wings as well. Where's the last guy at? Oh, that's a spider. Eat my gun. Come on, get stunned by it. And off with your wings. Boom. Job is good. Okay. Let's just check down here. I don't think there's anything down there, so we can ignore that. I've got a feeling we get two actual um, item upgrades down here. Or item. Items, rather. Not upgrades, sorry. That's Wrong choice of words. There's a couple of spiders in this section here by the looks of things. There's some horrible thing on there. Not sure what that is. Oh, okay. Okay, I get ya. Get across here. Pierce this. Good crowd control method, actually. This thing. If they get too close to you, you can just spam this. It generally kills most things, or nearly everything, actually. But they're all after me now. It does just keep you safe. Excuse me. <coughs> Sorry if I deafened everyone there. 
and it's good to get rid of the egg sacs first so that you're not dealing with extra spiders let's get rid of the ones that are on the wall incoming here eat the plague Try and get the attention of those ones that are up there. And where have they gone? No, okay. Perhaps in a minute. Right, what else is in this area for us to do? Well, there doesn't appear to be an awful lot just here. I think. Oh, there is a chronosphere down there, though. Do we need to be heading down, I wonder? Not down too deep, but. There is a chronosphere down there. So maybe, let's see what this does. It's bringing this up. Aha! Aha! Okay. How does that benefit us, I wonder? Well, this seems to be the way up. I can fire at that, and that's going to do something, not sure what. I want to be getting over to that chest on the opposite side. There's nothing else on this level. Let's try a higher level here. There, we've got more of these spiders to deal with. Let's get rid of the egg sack. Come on. Go. See ya. Boom. Boom, 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 boom. Boom. Get rid of all of those guys. And that one. And these ones. Go. Hey! Hey, 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 hey. Yes. How'd you feel? Dead. That's how you feel. Okay. Right, let's try and complete this puzzle before we finish today. Oh, and there's another. Okay. Gun. Highly useful. Right, okay. So we're back up here now. And I wonder... I think if we jump on this, it's going to cause it to go up. And that's when we're going to need to hit the other side here, like that, so that I can get to the other side before it closes. There we go. What have we got inside here? A beholder's key, fantastic. And what we want to do here is jump and there. Like that. Get this one, what's in here? The map. Awesome. Fantastic. Okay. So we've got the beholder's key. We can now get back through our doorway on the opposite side over there. But guys, for now this is where we're going to end. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. If you have, please leave a like. Please comment as well as I love to hear what everybody has to say. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. Please subscribe as that helps to build the channel. Guys, enjoy those meals. Thanks for that much love, and I will catch you next time for some more Darksiders action. But until then, take care. Bye.